In this video, we're going to consider the function question that you typically get in National 5. In fact, there's a couple of variations on this question, one of which, which is this style, evaluating a function at a value. Students tend to do that one pretty well. The other style, evaluating a value that you put into the function to get some output value, students tend to really struggle with that. It is a significantly trickier question. They're completely different in terms of how you go about them. So we want to primarily focus on this more difficult type. Let's start with an easier example. So remember a function is just like a formula. So this function notation is really just a way of saying this formula. And this formula is just telling you to take your x value, whatever value you want it to be, multiply it by three and add on two. That is the formula, that is the function, that's what it's going to do to the x value. In this case, they want us to evaluate f of minus 4. So that literally just means replacing the x with minus 4. So instead of 3x plus 2, we're going to get 3 times minus 4 plus 2. Remember, these are multiplying, so it's 3 multiplied to minus 4. And it's just an evaluate question. You're just working this out as a number. 3 times minus 4 is negative 12 plus 2. Um, so that would give you an answer of negative 10. And remember that a function or a formula when you put a number into it, you get a number out. So the input value here was negative 4 and the output was negative 10. And that's a really important point for the next question type. In the next question type, which would be like this guy here, they're asking us to put some number a into the function to get an output value of 24. They're calling the value we're putting into the function a just as a sort of placeholder, just to distinguish it from x. And is that a that we're trying to find? So in this first question, we were putting a number into the function to get a number out. In this part, we know what number we're going to get out. We want to figure out what number goes in. Now, a lot of students try and do this by trial and error, and you can eventually do it by trial and error, but you're probably not going to get all the marks for that anyway. But it's not really the way to do it. The way to do it is just to think of this, right? If you're evaluating f of a, that's just like evaluating f of minus 4 or f of any other number, you're just going to put whatever's here into the function. So in the same way we replace that x with minus 4, now we're just going to replace it with a, so that becomes 3a plus 2. But we're also told that f of a is 24. So if f of a is that, and f of a is also that, then these two things must also be equal. So essentially we can just make a little equation where 3a plus 2 is equal to 24. And that's essentially how you do these questions. You just set the number equal to the function with the value subbed in. Then it's just a little equation to solve, just like normal equations of 3a equals 24 minus 3, uh, minus 2, which is 22, and then divide by 3 to get 22 over 3 as the final answer. This one's come out to be a sort of weird final answer. Sometimes they do, sometimes they're whole numbers, negative numbers, it could be anything. So this is telling us, so if we put the number 22 over 3 into that original function, we would get the number 24 out. So essentially in these more difficult versions of function questions, you're working the question backwards. Let's take a look at this one. There's no part A, there's no evaluate in this one, it's just straight into the more difficult part. So again, we could say, right, if we evaluated f of t, that would literally be replacing the x with t, so 5 plus 4t. f of t is 5 plus 4t algebraically, but numerically f of t is 33, but they're both f of t, so they have to be the same thing, they have to be equal, so that is equal to that. So again, we're just making a little equation, Four, uh, 5 plus 4t equals 33. At that point, it's got nothing to do now with functions, it's just an equation to solve. That would give us 4t equals 33 minus uh, 5, which is 28. And just divide in both sides by 4, just like a normal equation, uh, to get our final answer of 7. So that tells us if we put the number 7, into that function, we would get the number 33 out. Let's just check that. That would be 5 plus 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 5 is 33. So essentially working these function questions backwards.